but uh the biggest challenge for me for uh men from my standpoint i think is the ability to ex how do i want to put it the ability to healthily express their emotions and the reason why i say that is because i think for the most part men just like women are you know giving or afforded the opportunity to afforded the opportunity you know from their adolescent periods and then of course you know through childbirth toddler grade school whatever like you're afforded the opportunities to express yourself and from an emotional standpoint but i think that whether it be from you know your parents perspective on how you as a man are or how you as a child are expressing your emotions i think that it has negative connotation to it because for the most part it's like hey you got to be the man of the house you know way before you even know what the man of the house does you're told like hey you got to be the man of the house you know or your parents might say be quiet before i give you something to cry, cry about like you you never really get that chance to fully go through the emotions and i like one thing that i always tell people today i was like you have to be kind to yourself and afford yourself the opportunity to feel every emotion from start to finish because if you continuously rob yourself of that opportunity you're going to keep going through these numbing periods of your life to where you're missing out on things because you're not present. You're either going to be too focused on what happened in the past or you're going to be too focused on what's going to happen in the future. Of course, past is what people like to relate to depression. Future is always, you know, related to anxiety. So I always tell people now, because even from for me, like I really didn't start health, like processing my healthy emotions until I was in my 20s. So you got to think like, a lot of men don't ever get to that point because they take on different responsibilities that constantly come, uh, you know, constantly pushes them to compartmentalize and not allow them to truly feel everything that comes with it. And then, of course, they take on somebody else's emotions, whether it be marriage or whether it be a kid. And then, of course, from there, it just trickles down and you're consistently compartmentalizing rather than truly allowing yourself to feel everything. Because, yeah, you may feel your, the joys at that time. But as we as we I think Brian and I've had this conversation before, like abstaining from situations that have, you know, caused you to think the way they do or feel the way they do doesn't ever negate them. It doesn't ever push it to the side. It just constantly gets, you know, well, it does get pushed to the side in a sense, but it doesn't ever erase it. So at some point there is going to be triggers in life that pushes those emotions that you've never taken the time to address.